Praise be to Jesus Christ, dear children. Hello, dear children. I hope all of you are doing well. I'm glad to welcome you to another beautiful day where we learn more about our powerful and merciful God and Jesus Christ, His Son. This whole year, we will be learning about our loving and merciful God and about our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, who came here on earth to save us from sin. In today's class, we will be together continuing learning more about the birth of our Lord in chapter 8, the star in the east. Before we start today's class, let us say a small prayer, requesting all the children of God to join your hands and close your eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day. Your birth in a small manger taught us all how to be humble and be thankful for all we have. May we continue to be like the three wise men, bowing before you and worshipping you. Amen. I know you are excited to learn more about the birth of our Lord. But before that, let's take a quick recap of our previous class. In the first part of chapter 8, we learned about the three wise men coming from east. These men saw the star and they came to Jerusalem in search of Jesus. They approached King Herod to ask him about the newborn king. They said, where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at the rising and have come to pay him homage. Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 2. This made the king Herod very angry and disturbed on hearing this. He felt threatened as he was the king of Judea. He called his priests and ministers and asked them about this promised Messiah. And when and where is this child born? His priests replied back saying that he will be born in Bethlehem of Judea. King Herod conveyed this message to the wise men and said to them, Go and search for the child in Bethlehem. When you find him, come and inform me so that I will also go and pay my respect to him. Now, the wise men continued their journey in search of baby Jesus. The star that appeared in the east went ahead of the three wise men and stopped directly outside the manger where our king, baby Jesus was born and was lying in a manger. The three wise men were extremely happy to have found their king. They went inside the manger and saw baby Jesus, bright and beautiful baby, with Mother Mary and Saint Joseph on both sides of the baby. The three kings bowed down to their king and presented him with three gifts they brought from far east. They gave our baby Jesus a box full of gold symbolizing the royalty. Myrrh, a fragrance which is used to worship God. And incense, a sweet fragrance. The three kings gave the gifts to baby Jesus and returned back to the east. On their journey, an angel appeared to them and asked them not to go back to King Herod. Obeying what the angel sent from above said, the kings went to the east without going to Herod. We learnt a nice poem about the three kings. We heard the story of Navya and Adya, how jealousy 
created a big problem for them in school badminton competition we also did a wonderful activity of making three kings with ice cream sticks now let's continue with the chapter did you know children when the three kings did not return the herod got furious knowing that the three wise men had fooled him and escaped to their homeland he then gave strict orders to kill all the male babies below 2 years this put the life of our new born king at risk but do you think our god would let anything happen to our jesus never he sent his only son down to the earth to save us god knew that his son's life was at danger so god sent an angel to inform joseph and mary that jesus life is at risk the angel told joseph to immediately take mother mary and baby jesus away from bethlehem to far away place egypt joseph being the responsible man that he immediately took mother mary and baby jesus to egypt this helped them to stay away from the wrath of king herod who was as you know jealous about jesus being called the king king herod did exactly that he killed all the babies in the town of bethlehem just to reassure his throne isn't it that wrong before he could find baby jesus an angel of the lord appeared to joseph do you want to hear the story of escape to egypt from bible matthew chapter 2 verses 13 to 23 says now after they had left an angel of the lord appeared to joseph in a dream and said get up take the child and his mother and flee to egypt and remain there until i tell you for herod is about to search for the child to destroy him then joseph got up took the child and his mother by night and went to egypt and remained there until the death of herod this was to fulfill what had been spoken by the lord through the prophet out of egypt i have called my son when herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men he was infuriated and he sent and killed all the children in and around bethlehem who were 2 years old or under when herod died an angel of the lord suddenly appeared in the dream of saint joseph in egypt and said get up take the child and his mother and go to the land of israel for those who were seeking the child's life are dead then joseph got up took the child and his mother and went to the land of israel children did you all see how god implemented a perfect plan for jesus and his arrival onto the earth to save him from the cruel king herod and to bring him back safely from egypt the same way god has plans for all of you wonderful children he loves each and every one of us the same way he loved his son jesus we just need to pray to him and thank him for his everlasting protection and care now let's learn a powerful prayer for protection from our loving god in our lives all the time we must recite this to receive god's grace and protection it's psalm 91 assurance of god's protection you who live in the shelter of the most high who abide in the shadow of the almighty will say to the lord my refuge and my fortress 
my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that weighs at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands, they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. This is a very powerful prayer for protection and all of you children must try to buy heart this prayer as it will always keep you safe in your entire life. Now, let's do a small activity of protection. In this activity, we will make a small poster what is shown in this picture. Okay? Write down the words. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Write down your name below this prayer and pin up this small poster on your study table or keep it in your school bag. Take a picture of this small poster and send it to your teacher before the next class. Okay, children? So today's chapter is over. Before we end our class, let us say a small prayer. Dear Lord our God, we know that you love all of your children. Keep showering your abundant love and grace upon us. May we able to continue growing in faith and humanity towards others. This prayer we make in your name. Amen. Thanks a lot, students. I hope you all understood everything that we learned today. Next week, we will learn more about Jesus. Till then, take care and praise be to God.